fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I have another DC Heroes Unite vs. DC Supervillains 2-pack from Spin Master. We have Aquaman vs. Black Manta. So this is the second of the two packs that I got from Walmart.com. The first one being Superman vs. Darkseid, which I reviewed previously. Um, these are the only two two-packs that I know of. I don't know if there's going to be more in the future or if this was like a test the waters type of thing. Test the waters, Aquaman. See what I did there? Anyway, um, so I think they're neat. I think it's a good way to get some extra figures out. Um, the only thing is sometimes you run into duplicates. Like I know Aquaman is a single release. Obviously Superman was a single release. But I don't know if the villains are getting single releases. So it's a way to get some more villains out. But at the same time, if it forces you to buy a second figure you might already have. Now luckily, I don't have an Aquaman yet. This is the first one I was ever able to get. Um, I don't know if it's the second wave or the third wave, but... Um, there was a huge push of these in January, and then after that, random things have kind of been trickling out, so I don't really know what the release schedule is like, um, but there is a separate Aquaman as part of a wave with, I think, like, Lex Luthor and Wonder Woman. I don't know if that's wave two or three, or if that's all wave two altogether, I'm not sure. Um, in any case, here's the two-pack. I got it from Walmart.com. You can see Aquaman versus Black Manta here on the back. I'm going to go ahead and get this open. You have to uh, pull this flap down. I'm actually just going to cut these. I find it's easier sometimes to just use something like a little box cutter to just cut these open. So we cut that one off. And then we cut this one off. And then is there tape down here? Yes, there is. And then you flip open this whole section and you can see right up here, you have the Aquaman versus Black Manta. They call it a collectible card, collectible trading card. It's just a cardboard, but it's nice artwork. I like the look of it. And then you can see you have the um, six like lockers that they have the accessories in. It's very much just like a, a single release, but then mirrored like that. So. Each character still gets uh, three accessories. So for Aquaman, we have this kind of water hook weapon, which is kind of neat. Then we have another chest piece, chest shield. That's kind of cool, though. Not bad, not bad. Uh, and then this last one looks like it's going to be a trident but it is very much stuck in the packaging here because it's so long. There we go. So that's cool. That's a really nice trident. I like that. Over here, we have a harpoon gun. We have... Looks like another trident or long staff weapon of some kind. So let's see, we have a sword, which is pretty cool. And then we have another staff. So that's pretty cool. Very nice accessories. I'm liking those. I'm going to go ahead and get these two guys out of the packaging here, and then we'll take a closer look. Here are the two figures out of the packaging, and I have to say they look pretty good. We'll start over here with Aquaman. The one big problem is, unfortunately, the packaging did bend like every one of his little fin accent pieces. <laughs> Uh, which I really like. I like that he has these fin pieces, but they're all definitely uh, bent. Maybe with a hair dryer or something, I could soften them up and kind of bend them back. I mean, they do bend back a little bit. Um, maybe over time I can get them to bend back, because I do really like them. I think it's neat that he has little fins on the back of his legs and his forearms, but they definitely got bent in the packaging. But overall, head sculpt I think looks pretty good. The paint for the eyes and the face actually looks pretty good. Head can move from side to side, although mine doesn't want to move too much to this side. There we go. It's a little bit better. So head moves from side to side. You have the typical hinge and swivel in the shoulder there. Very similar joint in the elbow. You can swivel it around. Uh, hips can kick out to the side, kick to the front. Can't really go that far back because he's got like a butt flap. You got a thigh swivel there, and then you have a joint in the knee very similar to the elbow where you have a swivel and a hinge. So he looks good. I like him a lot. Mine keeps wanting to kind of bend like into the one position. Like you can see if I 
uh, well now it's not going to do it of course on camera but it kept wanting to like if I moved it forward it would kind of naturally like snap back but that's just kind of like me you know, getting the ball joint to move around and loosen up over time but overall I like him a lot he's got a little bit of a shiny not quite metallic but just kind of a nice sheen to him almost kind of looks like he's underwater the way the light plays off it which is kind of cool I like that uh, let's bring in his accessories because of course he needs his trident and this might be a little interesting to get into his hands here. We'll see how this goes. His hands are very tightly closed. There we go. But that gives him a good firm grip on it. So I love that trident. That's fantastic. They did a really nice job with that. Zoom out a little bit. So love the trident. He's also got this uh, like water melee weapon. So I'm assuming it's like if he's underwater and he can kind of control the water and form this weapon You're supposed to peg it into his hand here again very tight there we go so that's kind of cool and if you're a fan of Aquaman in the comics at one point he did have kind of a hook hand so it's almost kind of indicative of that kind of a nice compromise between the two I'm glad they gave him two normal hands though for the figure but that's kind of a neat little melee weapon situation going on there and then you do have this uh, torso thing you can put this, it's a little difficult with his hair, but you can get it over. It doesn't quite work or look that great, but it's neat accessory. Honestly, this kind of looks like something that maybe like an Atlantean soldier or maybe even like Orm, Ocean Master would wear, something like that. I definitely think they did a good job designing the armor because it reminds me of something Atlantean in design. I just don't think it fits on Aquaman that great, but... I think it's a cool accessory and I'm glad they included it. Let's see if I can get him to stand here. There we go. So taking a closer look at Black Manta, I think he looks great. They did a nice job. Now he is mostly black and that's just the design of the character. That's not paint apps or anything missing. So they did what they were supposed to. And he's got all the same articulation as Aquaman does. Uh, the one difference I will say though, his head doesn't move all that much, but if you just unpeg the backpack, then he can move his head from side to side no problem. It's because he's got, you know, his design is that he's got power conduits going from the backpack to his dome, I guess, his helmet, for lack of a better term. Um, so let me get this pegged back in here. There we go. Um, so if you want to move the head from side to side, just unplug the backpack and then you can. But otherwise, I think he looks really good. Uh, for his accessories, he also has a staff. Let's go ahead and put this in his hand if we can. Again, sometimes it's a little bit easier to go in like this. There we go. So very cool staff there. I like that. And then he's got this uh, smaller short sword. Serrated blade, which is pretty cool. It's a little bent from being in the packaging. It's kind of a softer plastic. But again, hair dryer or something, you could straighten it out. It's pretty cool, though. I like that a lot. And then he's also got this, like, harpoon gun, I'm guessing. But again, this is, uh, I'm sure you could get it in there, but it's very, very tiny. Their hands are very small and very tight-gripped. And then they give you these accessories with these massive handles. I never really understand that. Um, I know they're kind of generic accessories, but it's really difficult all right, I'm just not even going to bother. You get the idea. The hands are very tight gripped. And again, I think it's just because of the nature of the plastic. Uh, you know, you can open it up there. Actually, that was not too bad. Let's, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. It's one of those things, like, if you really want him to hold it, once you just put it in his hand and let it sit for, like, a day, you know, he'll grip it. It's no problem. And that's not going anywhere. It's almost so heavy, his arm doesn't want to hold it up. You can see it's starting to sag. But it's a cool accessory. I like it a lot. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And we'll give him the smaller sword. Should be easier to get this into his grip. Ugh, why do I have to put these lips on the weapons? There we go. It's got that little lip around the, the bottom there. But it's pretty cool. I like the accessories. I like the figures quite a bit. Uh, some of the joints on mine are slightly loose. But I think over time it's going to be fine. I really like both of these. I think they did a nice job. It's an excellent two-pack. 
especially if, like me, you didn't already have Aquaman. If you already had Aquaman and you're debating whether or not to get a second one, um, you know, to get Black Manta, that's up to you. I mean, it depends, I guess, how much you like Aquaman. You, I think they are slightly different. The one that comes separately might have more of a metallic sheen to it. Um, you could always try to customize one if you got an extra one. Uh, that's up to you, but I definitely think this two-pack is worth it, especially if you don't already have Aquaman, because I really like both these characters, and I really like both these figures, and the accessories for both are definitely on point. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.